great weather, stormy weather, new friends, and home for now. I'd like to raise the sails again, watching for the whales again, and never have to say. I wish that I had done the things that I can't do when I'm too old to play. When we last left you, we were enjoying the White Islands at the southwest corner of Vinyl Haven Island. But it was time to move on, and since we were anchored next to this small gap between the islands, we decided to take the scenic route to Rockland. Uriel's up there on Rock Watch. Hello. What do you see? We arrived just in time to see them hauling out this sail training ship called the Corwith Kramer. The long sled is on rails, and once the boat is on it, they'll slowly winch her out of the water. They're using long measuring sticks here to make sure that everything is centered and exactly where it's supposed to be. The yard bent sails appear as though they operate like a big shower curtain, which would obviate the need for a whole bunch of crew standing on those precarious little foot ropes. The Corwith Kramer is a brigantine out of Woods Hole. All right, we're taking our leave of Rockland. Uriel has the helm. Nice to see you, however briefly. That's our pal Nick Apollonio arriving just as we left. We've got a great wind for the moment, although we've got to turn to the right up ahead, right into it. So it might not be so great all day, but for now, it's glorious. Isn't that right, Captain Uriel? That's right. It was fun to run into Nick on the way out of here. Yeah. I mean, not run into him literally, but to narrowly miss him <laughs> on the way out. It's a shame he didn't come in five minutes sooner. We could have sat and chatted for a while. That's the lowest osprey nest I've ever seen. I guess real estate's at a premium for these guys. Yeah, 11 was weird, and on a place on the chart that didn't have anything like that. We'd arrived at our destination, Allen Islands, and anchored in George's Harbor between Allen and Benner Island. The Wyatts have a compound on Benner, and the homes look a bit like the one depicted in that famous painting, Christina's World. But that house, the Olsen House, is in Cushing, Maine. The moody gray sky that night was in stark contrast to the warm, sunny morning. Oddly, however, the Wyeth buildings looked a lot less interesting to me in the warm sunshine. And off we go, leaving my namesake, Allen Island. little spot there. The chart shows one rock up here somewhere, although we're at pretty high tide. So Muriel's watching for that anyway. 
We continued bouncing west along the coast, and due to a slight hard drive malfunction, ow! we'll skip ahead to Cuddyhunk. We picked up the mooring at Cuddyhunk as a pretty good storm was brewing. There we made friends with a retired cop named Dave who was sailing on his catamaran and chasing extreme waves to surf. You know what at large is? Uh, yeah. From the standpoint of me being a police officer, I was always chasing people that were hard to find and yes. they were at large. Okay. Right. And I said, when I got out of that business, I said, you know what? I'm going at large. So oh. this is me trying to get away from all that. <laughs> you know? It worked okay. out good. So tell me again, you had a motorcycle and you did what now? Oh. <laughs> what you got the camera for. Yeah, I love this story. Um, yeah, I got out of high school and decided I was going to go to Alaska. I thought I was going to be a fisherman, actually, but I never did. Um, but yeah, I, uh, Honda Shadow 500. Mm. And um, took off and drove out there and um, wound up spending summer into the point where it was getting impossible to drive back. And I drove back, uh, you know, before it got too uh, icy and stuff. And, uh, man, I had a blast. Um, Florida and, to Alaska on a bike. Wow. And I tell you what, everybody out there that might listen to this should... Um, yeah, go do something. Go do something. Right, go do something. Go, go out there and try it out for yourself. Don't watch the YouTube video. Go out there and and make it happen. Good advice. Because, man, I'll tell you what, you won't regret it. Um, I, I you'll can, regret not doing it more than you'll regret right, doing it. Right, yeah. exactly. And I'm so thankful that I I followed my dreams. And, I, man, that's what everybody should do. <laughs> but here you go. Oh, there we go. That, that is, is... That looks pretty special. Striped sea bass, tomatoes, <laughs> garlic, uh, there's prosciutto, Oh, and I got a. Oh, is she okay with Parmesan? Oh yeah, oh, love, okay. love Parmesan. Out in the hurricane rain <laughs> with Dave. Give me a profile. Try to get back. Don't worry, to yeah. I haven't I haven't killed anybody yet, <laughs> so you guys are probably in good hands. Okay. <laughs> You're just saying. All right, here we go. Unless you want to wait, whatever. No, I think I think, I think now's good. a good time. Well, we're inside all snug down with candles while it rages outside. Dripping on the deck, it's just good stuff. Not bad so far. If it doesn't get too much worse. So far. So far. <laughs> but listen to that rain. Mm -mm, I've got the um, I've got the deck fill open and I've put a rope around it so the water directs in the tank. That's full. Goodbye, Cody Hulk. Be safe, Ariel. Ouch, the owner of this yet did not do as well during the storm. That's too bad. We headed over to the west end of Martha's Vineyard to a small port called Menemsha. On the way over, something gave the smaller fish a good scare. Anyway, Menemsha is such a quintessentially picturesque and compact little fishing port filled with terrific looking boats like the little lady here that they used it as the location of Quint and his boat, the Orca, in the original movie, Jaws. Up past go, ring for depth charge, stand by fire drill, damage control, report well aborted, nor'easter coming, bad notes from Madison Avenue. You know what I'm talking about, Chief? Ah, <laughs> the Mrs. Chief. <laughs> if they don't like you going out... The boats might not look as colorful as Quint's did, 
but still every dock every building every little scene seems to be another movie set or it leapt out of an old maritime painting we said goodbye to Martha's Vineyard and their white cliffs of Aquina and pointed our bow towards home These are the beautiful Monhegan Bluffs on the south side of Block Island, where sits the 1874 Southeast Lighthouse. In 1993, it was moved back 300 feet due to erosion in the bluffs. The south shore of Long Island is one long, beautiful beach, sometimes empty for miles, sometimes not so much. The Clean Water Act of 1972 and subsequent revisions have gradually resulted in whales, dolphins, Manhattan, and other creatures returning to the New York area. Well, I just spat right next to that guy. Oh! You see that? This whale is gulping bunker, considered by many to be the most important fish in the sea. It is believed this is the fish that the Indians used to fertilize their crops. One last sunset at sea, and then we arrived home in the midst of a big party and sunfish race. What kind of illegal contraption is this? Yeah, just in time, I'd say. Whereas Andy was immediately pressed into service in the pirate events. I'll leave you with Muriel's great bluegrass medley.